Hi everyone, I'm making a different kind of ice cream this time. I bought one at the store that had, apple, had apples, strawberries, grapes in it, and I added some bananas to it, plus I put some peanut butter powder and some uh, blue raw agave nectar into it. I've already started to mix it to see how well it's going to mix. I didn't add any water or any milk to it. So I'm going to see how this is going. Well, welcome to everybody coming in. Fred and all them coming in. Welcome. Oh, my voice is funny. I have to, oh my goodness. Do I sound like a robot? <laughs> uh, hi, good to see you. I didn't know if I'd get anybody in here because because uh, Simeon is on now. But uh, I'm, I started mixing this and I want to uh, see how this is going to come out. And I'm not going to add any milk to it or anything like that. We'll see how it's going to come out, work out without adding any milk to it. I'm hoping I don't have to. Okay, let me go ahead and start mixing this. Scrape down the sides again because this is, might be a little. This might be a little tedious because if I put more frozen in there than I did fresh. I may have to add a little bit of milk to it, but I hesitate doing that because I want it nice and thick. So I'm going to get stirred around a, a, as much as I can to try to get it going. Okay, now let's try it again. <laughs> I'm making I'm making ice cream um, and I don't add any milk to it or any sugar to it I'm just using fresh fresh app fresh bananas and the rest are frozen I put frozen bananas in here too so most of it's frozen I don't want to add any milk to it I'm gonna try and see how it's gonna mix without adding milk I might add a little bit of rice dream um, hi Philip and everybody else has come in here I I didn't know if I'd get anybody on because Simeon's on but I'm thankful that I'm getting somebody okay <laughs> to mix up now but I think I'll go one more time trying to get this off the sides get it mixed down into the blades as you can see it's starting to mix because I don't want it thin I don't want it thin at all you want it you want it thick enough that it'll, that it'll look like ice cream when it comes out that's why I don't add any milk or anything to it so let's hope and pray for the best trial and error to get this down in there. It's going to be really thick. I can tell it already. 
and bear with me. I'm getting this done. But I know you guys like to watch me making things. And uh, this is the best of fun of everything. much all of these get mixed in there. I'll pull this off and clean this off. And then I'll pour it into the bowl and I'll let you see what it looks like. These are very sharp blades so you won't see me touching them with my hands at all. Very sharp. take this spoon here. As you can see, look how thick this is. Look how thick it is. That is really nice and thick. And it has a lots of fruits in it too. Apples and strawberries, bananas, grapes. bowl up if I need to. I'll get this out of here. Yep. Let me take this and clean this off a little bit. Here we go. Okay. There she be. There's what it looks like. That is absolutely and I put some I forgot to tell you I put I put blue girl blue raw agave nectar in it too. I happen to like agave nectar. I think it flavors it up really good. And while I'm here here I'm gonna taste it. Somebody's always asking me how it tastes so I want to taste it while I'm here. Very good. It's different. It's one I've never made before. It's something that encourage everybody to make your own ice cream. Don't buy that store that ice cream you see in the store. You know what I mean? Have you ever noticed what the ice cream in the store has in it? It's got a lot of chemicals in it. St ingredients, but we don't they're probably not good ingredients. Oh, yeah. It's hot today, so it's going to make me feel good. I just have to take it slow eating it though because it's going to be a little it's going to be like a brain freeze because this <laughs> will really get cold in my brain but you know we can all encourage one another that's why i like to do these scopes i think if i encourage somebody else, somebody else to make the ice cream um instead of buying it in the store you don't have to give up ice cream this is what i call my healthy indulgence is i can indulge on it but yet be healthy at the same time. Now, I don't think I'm going to eat too much in the wintertime, but if I get hungry for it, I might. But wintertime, I don't necessarily eat that much ice cream. The summer, it's always good. Oh, you eat that? Yes, you can get those eating slushies. Yes, popsicles too. Anything like that. I used to eat popsicles a lot, and, and you can get a lot of brain freeze with those as well, you know. But uh, this, is, this, I mean, this has got a very pretty color, and... Uh, It'll fill me up, and people. Somebody asked if it's my dinner and dessert. Well, I guess you could say it's a little bit of both, because that's the only meal I'm going to have now, and it'll it'll tide me over. I won't need anything until morning. But I like doing these for other people because people like me to, to make make things in front of them, and that's what I want to do. I'm I'm trying to learn how to make other things like veggie burgers and vegan mayonnaise. I just haven't made anything like that. Um, but you need to get a blender. Oh, I. I really say you should. You want a blender. You, you, I've got a Ninja, but I've also got a food processor. I found that the blender, my Ninja works a lot better for the ice cream. I'm just using the food, food processor for the things like the nut butters and things like that because it works better for those. But my Ninja works real well for the ice cream and the smoothies. So, and I, I do eat a lot of, I drink a lot of smoothies too. They're good. Um, 
the, this particular ninja that I have, and I will show you the base of it, this particular ninja, as you can see, this one was $149 at Walmart. Um, uh, the, uh, the one I had before was the cheaper model. I think it was about $70, something like that, $75, $80. And it didn't do as good a job as this one does. And, um, yeah, I, I know it seems like a lot of money, but they're, they're <laughs> yeah, well, if you're broke, you can't afford it. But let me tell you, there's blenders that are a lot higher than that. I mean, you, people talk about the Vitamix. If you want something that's really expensive, go. I check that out at, like, at Amazon, because they do have them at Amazon. They're five, six hundred dollars. I cannot afford that whatsoever. Yes, it is. It's blended. Oh, you had a, a blend tech? Well, that's what Stacy has is a blend tech. And I had never heard of that until I saw her blend tech on, on doing some of her scopes. And that does a real good job, too. But I happen to like the Ninja. I started with the Ninja, and I kind of wanted to finish with it. Um, yeah, just look around and see what you can find, you know. Um, because they've got them all different prices. You know, whatever's in your price range, you don't particularly have to get that expensive of a one. The one, like I said, I had before was about $75. It, they say you get what you pay for. Well, I want one a little bit heavier to do more. This is a professional, so it does a lot better job, you know, in a lot less time. And it doesn't walk across my counter either. The other one did not have suction cups on the bottom of it. This has suction cups on the bottom of it, so it's not going to start walking on, down the counter. When, you, when I start walking down the counter and they can't suction to it, then you better think about getting rid of them. So I kept the I kept the container and the lid, however, and the blade because they're interchangeable. I can use it on this machine as well. I just can't use I can't use the the uh, the, the other machine because it doesn't work. But uh, yeah, it was a walking ninja. It, it, I did. I was using it one day making ice cream or whatever, and it started walking down my counter, and I had to follow it. I had to practically hold it down with my hands to keep it from walking down the counter. Well, it doesn't have any suction cups on it. This has good suction cups, and that's a reason for that, because it's, the thing is so powerful powerful that it, it vibrates as it, as, it, as it works, as it runs, and you don't... Um, oh, sure! Absolutely! This, this, is the, this is the Ninja. This is the one I got for $149. And, of course... You, you already saw, this is the container that I use that goes onto it. And uh, this is the blade. It's the blade. And this is the lid that fits on it. But that's for $149. That's a professional one. Oh, you're so welcome. It's a, it's a real good machine, and I'm real happy with it. You know, I had a, there was a lady in my church a while back that she said she she had like a love hate relationship with Ninja. That's how I first started started uh, wanting one because she said she had a Ninja that she'd make smoothies in. She said it did a good job because of uh, um, blender that I had before the very first Ninja was a Nutri Bullet. Well, that thing if you've ever had a Nutri Bullet, those things are very small. Now, I would do smoothies in it, and it got to the point where I, it wouldn't turn on anymore. I'd push it down, and nothing would happen. Uh, well, this doesn't, you know, and I got it for a hundred dollars. Well, you get what you pay for on that. They still have the neutral bullet out there, and people still swear them by it. But anyway, then I got my other ninja that I paid about seventy-five, eighty dollars for. Had it for a couple of years, and now I've got this one, and I like this one so much better. I know this one will do the work, do the trick that I needed to do. Like I said, this will be basically used for the smoothies and the ice cream, and I'll use my um, other one my food processor for the nut butters and the cheeses and things like that that I make because it doesn't take much to make those. But I need a powerful blender like for the ice cream and the, and the smoothies. So that's the only way to seem to make, to make it. But we can all share with each other and I like doing this because I want other to, others to see what I've been doing to try to try to be healthy and try to uh, lose weight. It's coming off, but it's coming off slow. I mean, we, you know, and I don't want it to come off too fast anyway because if it comes off too fast, then you have a tendency to put it back on again. So I am thankful that I am losing it slow. I'm so glad of that. And we can all learn from each other. And uh, I know that Philip does good health scopes. And if you, if people didn't watch that one he did yesterday on the benefits of carrots, I suggest you go back and watch it. Go into his, his profile and watch And that one on carrots was really a good one. We really realized how beneficial things like that are. I'm going to go out and buy me a whole bunch of carrots now, you know, they can be juiced as well. You know, the great big ones, you can get a big package of them and you can juice them, although I could probably juice them in my blender if I want to. It's not an actual juicer, but I could do it if I want to because carrot juice is very good. Um, no, uh, Philip the Overcomer, he's in here right now. 
he did a, he did a scope on on the carrots yesterday, um, and he he has some he he does a lot of research on his on his scopes before he comes on about health benefits of different foods, and it's it was very good. I mean, I was so happy because I knew that carrots were good for me. I didn't realize how good they were for me. They're for your eyes, you know, and you know, and vitamin C and things that you really need. So I suggest that if you don't like carrots, start liking them because you're going to find out there's real good health benefits to it. You know, there's a lot of health benefits to a lot of things that we eat. Of course, there's some others that are not quite so healthy. Yes, carrots. There we go. There he's showing it. He's, he's the one who's put the carrots up on his, on his uh, comment box. He, and they're very, very healthy. And he mentioned how he never used to like them, but then he started gradually starting liking them. He showed the carrot juice that he drinks. You know that's something carrot juice. I've had carrot juice before, and it's actually not that bad. It tastes really good. You know, and we need to start. Whether you drink smoothies, or you drink juices, or whatever, we need to start getting back to what God gave us in the Garden of Eden, because He didn't give us all this stuff that you see in the stores, all the processed foods, all the meat, all the processed ice cream. You know, we we can make our own foods and have a lot of more benefits to it. That's why I make this ice cream. It's healthy for me, it's got benefits to it, and it's an indulgence that I can have and not have to worry about gaining a lot of weight on it. You know, and I always say, good things in moderation. You know, take it slow. You don't have to eat them all the time, you know. And when I make my ice cream, I kind of change it up, and I, and I try to make it different each and every time. That's, he sure has. He's provided all we need for nutrition if we would just follow the, the eight laws of health. Um, I don't have a Vitamix. I know people do have a Vitamix, but I have, I, they, like I said, they're five, six hundred dollars, and I've got this Ninja, and that's about all I can afford. I know some, a lot of people swear up and down about the Vitamix, and it does a real good job, and it probably does for that kind of money, money it should. Um, yeah. But they are just way too expensive, and I, I figure this Ninja just is just, just, just does just as good a job, and I'm happy with it. Uh, yes, the Ninjas are very good. If you've never had a Ninja and you want one, I would suggest trying it too. If you can't afford a Vitamix, don't get one. I couldn't afford it, so that's why I settled for this one. And it does the job I needed to do. It makes everything the way I need to get it, so that's the main thing. And uh, I think I better call this go to to a close though so I can eat my ice cream before it becomes like water. But I thank y'all for coming in. Oh, oh, is it a very comfortable machine? Oh, good, good. Uh, yeah, a cheaper one? Yeah, I know you said you do early and you have a cheaper one. But uh, with whatever works for you, that's what should work, you know. I'm not gonna say that an expensive one like this is oh, is good. I mean, you, a cheaper ones will work too. But you know, whatever that works for you. But I'm going to call this to a close so I can eat my ice cream because it's just begging for me to eat it. So I thank you all for, um, oh, okay, well, okay, I'll, real quick. I put fresh bananas in it and frozen bananas, and then I had a package of apple grape blend, which had, had strawberries in it, apples, and red grapes. And then I also put a little peanut butter powder in it, and then I put some, a uh, couple tablespoons of, uh, two tablespoons of, of the peanut butter powder and two of the blue raw agave nectar. So that makes it taste real good. Um, oh yes, grapes are, are, are a real good food too. You know, we, we all need grapes. Um, oh, I certainly will. And I thank y'all for coming in. I'm going to enjoy this. I wish I could share it with you, but I can't very well do that. But I'll eat it for you guys too, okay? I guess I can do that. So thank y'all for coming in. Y'all have a great night, wherever you might be. Take care. God bless and bye-bye.